Here's America's pastime. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Kansas City Royals. 2K Sports and Major League Baseball. Home support? Yeah, there's a lot of it here. 38,000 fans on hand for our ballgame. The home field advantage goes to a pitcher's yard today. We're in Kansas City with the Royals. I'm Gary Thorne. Steve Phillips, John Crook with me. Major League Baseball 2K Sports. Starting on the mound, Kyle Davies. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. I'll get a chance to watch Kyle Davies out on the mound, but for the manager, you have to keep an eye on him. Throwing strikes is critical. He doesn't throw strike one enough, and when he falls behind in the count, he can give up the long ball. When he works ahead, it allows him to use his sequence of pitches effectively. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Gian's got going. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, the potential there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. Maybe a likely outcome after winning the first two games in the three-game set. So they sweep, going three for three against the Twins in Minnesota. And this ball club has really, really been on a tear lately in every phase of the game. Here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Winning eight out of their last ten, and they have an energy about keeping this going. Well, they sure do, and it's really, really tough, almost impossible to sustain an 800 winning streak for such a long time. But a hot streak can do wonders for a team's position in the standings. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Big time offensive production last game out there. Three RBIs in that one. And I think some real momentum coming into this Strike game. One. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. He's at an even 200 lifetime against Kyle Davies. Hit in the air to left center. And the play made by Pierre. Two away. And Paul Canerco to bat. Base is empty with two outs. Right. Swings at that breaking ball but misses. It's 0 and 1. Well, not a whole lot you can do when a pitcher's locating that curveball down in the strike one zone. There's just not a lot for the hitter to get accomplished with that swing. You just hope to foul it off and he makes a mistake with the next one. Right. Swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. The batter was obviously looking for something else. You see how way out in front he was on that swing. And he cannot pull the trigger. Paul Canerco strikes out. So Kyle Davies gets him three up, three down. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. Let's look at the Kansas City bats. We will when we come back. And doing the pitching, it'll be John Danks. He gets settled in for Chicago. Well, Steve, what's in store for these Kansas City hitters today? As a hitter, when you face John Danks, you have to be patient. You know he's a guy that wants to expand the zone, but he'll give up a walk, and he'll give up a home run. So hitters' counts are critical. Work the count. Get that 2-0 pitch, that 3-1 pitch, and then sit on the fastball and look to drive it. Fielded by Ramirez, and Pierre is retired. Number nine. Here's David DeHaese. On the game last night, he took advantage of a mistake pitch and drove it out of the ballpark for a big-time shot. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0 and 1. A career 267 number off the White Sox. And that one fouled off by De Jesus. Danks gets set and delivers. Still 0 and 2. But you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. And DeJesus fights off another one. And the one two pitch from Danks. Beckham. And that is set down to DeJesus. One looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Right. Any throw, the key part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. And Butler's in the box. The Royals winning last night. 
That made it a sweep in the series, going three for three against the Indians. Well, this ball club's in the middle of a pretty good streak. Headed for the middle. Now with two down, we've got a man on board. And we'll have a chance now to see how the Royals line up, presented by Pepsi. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, even if Rick Cankiel's not swinging the bat, the thing you have to notice about him, when a ball's hitting the gap, you watch for the most explosive wow. outfield arm in baseball. He's very accurate wherever base he's throwing to, and he has an absolute cannon. He can change the game with his arm as well as with his bat. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. And so good. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Here it comes. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. Here's the slider coming right at you in KK. Get a better look at that. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Career average for him, only 135 off the Royals. Davies with a strike. Good pitch. Up the middle. And that one is through. That's their first hit of the game. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. And right now, Tom Clyven runs batted in in the lead. One out man on first. Here's the delivery. Swing and a rocket towards short. Two retired here. And they just try to hold him there at first. Let's take a look where the Kansas City Royals rank right now in the American League. Third in stolen bases, seventh in ERA, and an offense that's in the top ten in triples. That ability to drive the ball into the gaps is a real asset for a club, but also that speed and aggressiveness to turn them into triples. It's going to be Przinsky. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. The first pitch was fouled off. It's 0-1. And that's a strike. A.J. Krasinski now behind in the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Come on. Oh. And A.J. Krasinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Gets it done again, Kyle Davies. He's put in some effective pitching so far. And now on to the bottom half of the second. Stadium on this great evening. There's a strike from Danks, now 0 and 1. He delivers. Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0 and 2. About good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. On the way, he swings and nails a liner. And Kiaspo retired. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the runs scored, you give yourself a chance to win. Avila's at the plate. Batting three for nine lifetime off John Banks. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Well, he, was, he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Good smile. He got that one done. And it's Alex Gordon now. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Strike two at the knees. Nothing in two. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Oh. Tried to get him to go after that curve. One and two. A big break on this curve ball. He starts it in the strike zone, but it falls right. Hit up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. 
Throws on to first in time to retire the side. And so out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. Both teams still looking for that first. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. And one of the top ten averages right now. Spotted by Kendall. I know a lot of pitchers like to pitch inside if they feel like the hitter's diving out over the plate, but I don't know what he was thinking right there. That one is swung on and missed by Tian. That'll leave it up the count. Here's the 1-1. Swings, clobbers it deep. Left center field. Gone. Goodbye home run. The first run of the ball game. You'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a 1-0 lead. Now, Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after him. That's, the That's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a ball hit high into the air, deep into right field. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Oh, you got to feel for this pitcher now. He's just getting pounded. And after you give up that first one, Steve, sometimes you lose your focus and you make a fat pitch, and it looks like that's what he did. Well, you've got to let go of something negative and get yourself focused again. He's not getting it done. Damon swings and misses for strike one. He's gone two for seven lifetime off Davies. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double. Unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. One of the best batting averages in the league. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. The pitch. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And he's in at second with a double, 1-0. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart Great of the court and took advantage of it. Dirt pitch swung on and missed. Not feeling real good about that one. Great Strike two. two, no balls and two strikes. Ben Erko now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, he was the talk of the last game. Four base hits in that one and a lot of confidence building around him right now. Fantastic chance here. Now he tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the plate. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead on the count, and then you give up a base hit. So Carlos Quinton comes up here with two runners on. He's the league leader in hits. First pitch to Quinton. He swings now and really hit that. Anderson will field. Ramirez around third, headed for the plate. And Ramirez is home. Find a way to get the runner in whenever you can, and that's what this offense does. Good, solid approach in the bat right there. Steve got a fly ball on that. Not easy to do in that pitch down where that was. No, oh, that's right. I mean, he went down and got it. He drove the ball and made it out, but at least allows the runner to advance. And the first pitch, line drive oh. left of the bag and foul. The pitch, Davies with a strike, good pitch. 
The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away, and if you can execute it, you can be very effective. That's why he got the swing and the miss. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. Pretty good third inning. They break things open with a few across. The White Sox lead three to nothing. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. And now his lineup is in overdrive. An exciting bit of run production. A good way to keep the manager happy. First pitch and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Uh, if you're watching the ball game last night, you saw him pick up a couple of RBIs. Line towards second. Back up. One away. Little bit of baseball left to be played in the season. Here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Farm. First place, the White Sox. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Danks gets set and delivers. Lays off that fastball, and it's 0-2. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Towards center field, and that gets down. Kendall's got a single. So Juan Pierre will come up. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. He's the league leader in stolen bases. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. That's a good pitch from Danks. It's in there. I'll tell you, I, this, this makes the game exciting for me. The strategy that comes into play with a guy like this on the bases. He's one of the best base dealers around. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. And that one fouled off by DeJesus. No balls, one strike. Here's Danks. And that's a strike. DeJesus has now got to guard the plate. Oh, Pierre trying to steal on the ground to third. Too late, and he is safe at second. At the plate. Kansas, Kansas City, City gets a shot at it right now. Number 16, Jelly. Butler. Boy, I don't know when that counts, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know. He hit that one. Wow. You're right. On an 0 2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. Pazos, and now the 1 0. There's a swing and a line drive. Go in time, forces him at second for the third out. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. The White Sox still ahead. And Alex Surrios to lead off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. And he starts Rios out. As he out in front as he swings and misses strike one. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Swing and a miss on the breaker, one down. Oh, and you love what he did right there. Did no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Well, just say hello, how you doing, and see you later. It's going to be Przinski. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. Now look at the staffs with the fewest walks allowed for the month. Found on our State Farm leaderboard. The White Sox number one. Second, the A's. The Twins third. Fourth spot held with the Royals. And the Mariners fifth. For the last few weeks, neither one of these teams are giving away free passes. They're making you earn it against them. And that's the way you have to pitch. And no team wants to have a guy come out and walk. Hit sharply towards the hole. And it gets through two for two. Now so Jim tell me coming up. Oh, I love being able to get hits with two outs. Even if there's no one on base you don't drive in any runs. What it does is though it prolongs the inning and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier. Right there in the top five and home runs. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. Tian's on his way home. And he crosses the plate all the way from first base. Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of.
Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rip at it. Nice, short, compact swing. First pitch on the way to Damon. Damon will foul that one away. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. One bounce onto the wall. They score the run. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Shortstop, number 10, Alexi Ramirez. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. With a runner on second, Alexei Ramirez. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Well, after that quality at bat, I mean, this offense just landing some serious body blows on this pitcher in this game. Boy, you see this get started. It only builds confidence in the hitters. This is a one hopper off the wall. There's the throw. And Damon crosses the plate. Now coming to bat. Oh, the Perfect Chicago situational Wayne. hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Here's the pitch. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. Now, now State Fire brings you the Chicago leaderboard for the highest on base right percentage field. in the league. Getting on base is a philosophy, it's a mental state, it's a really an approach. And these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major leagues. And out on the mound, we've got Juan Cruz. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now. What an explosive bat he's got. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit high in the air. Straight away left field. Say goodbye. A three-run homer. With that three-run homer, they just extended their lead. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. First pitch on the way. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, you know that taco you had before the game, Steve? I think uh, I think we've got a full fiesta going early in this one. I think that we do, and, and now you're getting me hungry just thinking about it. Here's a swing, a long high drive deep into center field. Gone! That's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, they're really taking advantage of him right now, Gary. With two at-bats and two home runs, and he clearly doesn't now look comfortable out there. A little conference on the mound side. might not hurt here with either the catcher or pitching Number coach. 51. Well, it's a hitting coach dream come true right here. Everybody's hitting the ball. Swung on by Rios, strike one. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the Royals. Can't catch up with it, 0-2. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run in the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. A smash. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to be a, an opposing pitcher right now. This offense looks unstoppable. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. Oh boy, this is uh, getting a little ridiculous here. Looks like batting practice. He throws. Berzinski towards third base. Gets in there in time. He is safe at third. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. Mark Tian looking to knock in a run. He homered back in the third. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. 
Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And Pierzynski comes in. Now coming to bat. Well, they need a big out right here, Gary. I mean, they're giving up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just again to show that they can get them. Two outs and a runner on second. Spotted by Kendall. Circle change cut on him, missed 0 and 1. A great change up right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? There's a soaring high drive deep to left field, way back there. Gone, a two run homer. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Here's the pitch. Damon will foul that one away. Here's the pitch. Swing and a long high drive deep into right center field. Gone a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Uh, you got to feel for the pitcher here right now. They're figuring something out. And he threw back to back mistakes and paid for it. Some teams in these situations, you just get too anxious on the next guy and feed him a fast one. Well, you know what? Sometimes you hang on the mistake you made earlier and you make another one. Howard coming in now to pitch. They've decided it was time to make a change here. He's hacking up the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. Oh. Ramirez will foul that one away. Swung on, hit. Oh, mercy. Oh, that did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Well, Alexi Ramirez's first season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. First in doubles, third most in hits. Uh, he, you notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. He's the league leader in Ribby. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Covers this ball. A soaring drive deep left center field. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Well, this is a pitcher's worst nightmare right here. Throwing it and having it crushed every single time it's over the plate. Base is empty and two down. First pitch to Quinton. Hit hard to second. Colaspo throws to first side is retired. They break this thing open. An enormous inning here. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It's Trey Hillman you're looking at. You add up the pitching staff and the at-bats that uh, have not been good. And they've got some real problems now in this ball game. Danks gets set. Swing and a hot shot. Danks. And that'll retire on Keel. Fastball at the plate. Ground out victim last time through. Now the first pitch. Now swing and a shot toward second. That's the second out. Kansas City Shortstop. Number 30. Avila's at the plate. Grounded out his last time through. Call strike on one. Oh, Gary, into the fourth inning right here now. They, they've gotten three hits in this one, so they've had a few base runners, but they haven't been able to lump them together to be able to generate any runs so far. So John Danks gets some three up, three down. Plenty of run support as he takes his shutout through four innings of work. Fifth inning upcoming at Coffin Stadium. And Beckham's in the box. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. First pitch on the way. Swung on, hit sharply to first. 
And it gets through. That's his third into the game. Four times up. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. He's a big home run guy. Top ten in the league right now. Runner on first. And he starts Rios out. And that's by him 0 1. Swing and a miss. A two seam fastball away is just screaming to be hit on the ground as the hitter opens up. Awfully tough to hit with that You're kind out. of movement. Big swing, misses on the changeup, struck him up, went away. We're going to see the movement on the circle change here. It's down in the zone, but it's definitely a hittable pitch. It looks like the pitcher just caught him looking for something else, and it threw off his timing. Outstanding work right there, John, and uh, for the rest of the lineup, maybe they'll be sucking guessing the next time around when they face him, especially with two strikes. It's off the wall on a hop. The throw. He'll yeah, hold there the at second base, the crediting Chicago with a double. But well, a key contributor in that last win, three big Martin hits in that Tien. game, and he's seeming to find a way again to get it started. And Mark T into bat. Not an RBI double his last time. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Swung on, liner to right. Out number two. And the runners will have to stay put, second and third. Here are the batters who've knocked in the most runs on our State Farm leaderboard. RBIs over the last 10 games. Well, these are the guys that make the most money because they're the ones who impact the game in a big way, driving in the critical runs that lead to a team success. Runners at second and third with two outs. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. Oh. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. A base hit right here would be absolutely devastating. I mean, you're already trailing significantly. You cannot let them add on a couple more runs. You need an out right oh. here to get that offense in and start pecking away at the lead. They get two men in scoring position. A couple of hits. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Gian. He's watched his club stake out a nice advantage, probably thinking about making sure his pitching plans keep up with the runs. Pitch on the way. That's it foul by Gordon. Low and two, Danks with some pitches to play with. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound, and the defense has not felt that much pressure either. With only one runner Coming left on the base, and for the you know, we're moving City through the middle part of this ball game, so you know they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. He only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And we've got Anderson batting, six-year player, towards center field. Rios will field on the run. Still comes up with it. Fans, next Monday you can catch another dose of baseball. We'll see Evan Longoria and the Tampa Bay Rays. They find themselves at Angel Stadium of Anaheim to face the Angels. Hope you'll be there. Things get underway at 10 Eastern. And Kendall's in the box. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. The pitch, called strike, and it's 0-2. Swung and a ground ball to third. Throws on to first, side is retired. And they're held in check here in this half inning. No runs yet for Kansas City. The top of the order is due up next. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. He went deep in his last time up. He's swinging the bat very well today and doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. On the way. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. 
It's hard to get the kind of action you want on a two-seam fastball up in the zone, but his location away caused it to be effective anyways. And Damon's trying to stretch it. Pulls into second with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. You have to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safe. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. RBI situation, Alexei Ramirez. Top five AL in run scored. Swing and a drive, deep left center. It's off the wall and left center. And Damon comes in. Ramirez around third, headed for the plate. And he scores. Ramirez crosses. Great base running there. Gets the hit. Takes advantage of his wheels. And inside the park, two run shot. Now batting. Check out the wheels on this guy. You've got to have those wheels if you're going to end up at home. Well, there's no question about it, but you also need some help from the defense, and the defense had a letdown there that allowed an inside-the-park home run. And it's Paul Canerco now. Nobody on base, and nobody out. And he starts Canerco out. Line shot into center field. And another hit back to back. Now the State Farm leaderboard. Who has the power bats this month? Uh, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. He's driven home four so far. Boy, good offensive production today. Some quality at bats. Driving in runs. And then the power's coming out as well. And I tell you what, there's not a pitch he can't hit. Shot towards the hole. And that'll get him aboard there on a roll. Now, now breaking down Carlos quite the season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. Hit first in batting average, first in hits. And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark, a major power threat every time he comes to the plate. He's been brought in to take over for the Royals. And Beckham's in the box. Well hit towards the middle. Over to second for one. And there's the second out of double play. There's a look 4 6 3 on the double play. Now that's the way they teach you whether you're at second base or shortstop. One fluid motion, get it out of the glove and get rid of it. So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. And he starts Rios out. Hits sharply down the line. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. And the run comes in. So he's aboard on the error. And then more importantly, a run scores. It's going to be Przinski. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Runner on first, two away. First pitch on the way. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. He delivers. And that's a strike. A.J. Krasinski now behind in the count. Defensive stance at the plate. That contributed offensively in their last game with a couple of RBIs. See if he can't do it again today. And that's strike three, and mercifully so. Inning comes to a close with big-time damage done. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox continue. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Kruk, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Juan Pierre now. He's the stolen base leader in the American League at the moment. Danks gets set and ball. delivers. Missed ball one. Well, I tell you, with this kind of speed, he really can't impact the game. And it's something the pitchers and catchers really need to keep an eye on on the bases. 
And it's through. Credit Pierre, a single. And that's going to bring David DeJesus up. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. This Kansas City series ends Sunday. They look to add on more victories against the team they've had the upper hand against. The Baltimore Orioles. That'll get underway on Thursday night. Then they'll be up against A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez and the Yankees. The team they rolled over last time out. So a lot of home games on the way. The fans will have a chance to see their guys many times over the next couple of weeks. Fresh count on DeJesus. Here it comes. Just missed with the fastball. 1-0. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get in and go with only one runner left on base. So they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. Towards center field. And in there, he's two for three today. The now, opportunity okay. for, for offense is right ball. now. First base. Number 16, Billy Butler. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. Banks gets set and delivers. Hard grounded to short. And there's one. And two. A double play. Execution on that 6 4 3. Yeah, that body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. Rick Ann Keels at the plate. He's got a runner at third. And he starts and keel out. Ball one. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. Played by Canerco. Pierre scores. For the rally here, energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Alberto. A runner on first with two outs. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Two Danks with some pitches to play with. Well, the pitcher's executing his game plan. He knows these hitters. He knows how he wants to pitch them. And now he's locating his pitches in exactly the right spot. John Danks comes off the mound. This is the one run given up over six and some run support to boot. And Mark Tiana had a couple of RBIs thus far. Well, the team winning, he's been a big part of the offense. Driving in the run with a base hit and then the home run where he got a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark and capitalized on it. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And it's going to be DeJesus. Didn't have a problem getting over there in time. And Jim Tomey. Three for four thus far. But Gary, he's been an absolute nemesis today. I mean, he's so locked in right now. And two home runs in this one. And obviously, they got a chance to run away with it. Here it comes. Hot shot towards the hole. Retiring Tommy. And the Royals in the midst of the wild card race in the American League. They'll wrap up the series with the White Sox on Sunday. And they take their battle back to the American League Central. The Detroit Tigers will be hosting. That will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then they'll grapple with another American League Central team. The Cleveland Indians will be hosting. And quite a bit of time away from home for for them over these next several games. Strike started off the at bat 0 1. Well how about a chance to get through an inning without any base runners and without any runs. I mean they've been blowing out this one so far. Put a, put a zero <clears throat> put a zero up there and let's see if the offense can get it done. Well that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. No runs no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning and nobody left on base. Stretch time here in Kansas City. In the dugout, Trey Hillman. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. And here's the first one. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Look, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. Oh. Misses for a ball to even things at one. Can't connect there. Ball and two strikes.
And the one two pitch from Downs. And the cut fastball's in there. Strike three, one away. It's the best pitch in baseball. Fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. Be successful. And Przinski calls for the pitch. That pitch is not going to be in there from Danks. Like okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. And the catch by Rio. And we've got Anderson batting. Blew up last time. Two outs. Space is empty. First pitch. Here it comes. This is in the air, straight away left. And that gets down for a base hit. So Jason Kendall will come up. And brought to you by State Farm, the team's leading the way with stolen bases. Rays number one, the Angels in second. Third spot, the Rangers. Fourth spot held with the Royals. And the fifth best, the A's. Well, this is a pitcher's nightmare when you face a team like this. They have so many guys on this ball club that can steal bases. But you're a pitcher and you're facing these guys, every one of them that gets on base, you know you have to concern yourself with them, but you also have to not give up some of your command. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. And that two-run homer in his last AD. Well, he started the game out saying, well, I'd like to contribute. Well, how about three RBIs and some quality defense? He's impacted this game in so many ways. A smash to first and through this time for a base hit. The hits just keep on coming. That's five today. Now and that'll bring up Paul Konerko. Oh, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. And the first pitch. Slider just misses 1 and 0. Career average 276 against the Royals. At the belt, the 1 0. A swing line to left center. And in there, there's another one. That is his fifth hit of the ball game. We get a moment to take a look at the extra base hit leaders around the league brought to you by State Farm. So Carlos Quinton comes up here with two runners on. Got a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. It's nice to have a bat like this in the lineup because as you're going through the game, you know you've got a chance to score runs every time he comes to the plate. Hits it out of the ballpark. He's driving the ball. He's doing a little bit of everything. First pitch to Quinton. Cut on and missed 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. There's contact. He drove it well. Anderson will field. One away. And that will keep the runners. They have to stay at first and second. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. And Beckham's in the box. Drove in a run earlier in the game. But getting it done in all kinds of ways here, Gary, contributing with the bat with the RBI. And then the quality defensive plays. I mean, they can't find a hole around this guy. And the first pitch. Smash towards the hole. Now Just now to look at the well, league leaders for triples brought to you by State Farm. Number well, he can drive the ball, and his speed is a real asset for him. And, you know, makes him among the league leaders in triples so far this year. And it's one of the most exciting plays in the game. Fans love triples. Bases are loaded here with only one away. And he starts Rios out. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. He deals. Look out. That one ran in and got him. Well, that hurts. There's no question about it, but it eases the pain when you know you get an RBI for it. Three on and one out. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Off the wall on a hop. The throw, and Canerco will score. 
And the second run comes around. Now and he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Number 25, Mark Tien. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. First one to Tien. Here's the pitch. That one's hit to the right. Way down there, but that's going to be a long foul ball. And that's a strike. Martinez going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Able to set him down there. Chuck that one up as a strikeout for him. Oh boy, that is a big out when you got a couple in scoring position. Well, it's a very impressive piece of work. You know, they get stressed on all the time by their pitching coaches. Situational pitching. He settled down, he focused, and he got it done. And Jim Tomey. Batting average 305 lifetime off Kansas City. Now there's a swing. A ball hit high, deep into right field. With that three run homer, they just extended their lead. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Base is empty with two outs. The pitch, a smash towards the hole. Here are some of the hottest pitching staffs in baseball, courtesy of State Farm. Lowest opponent batting average this month. The Angels, number one. Second, the Yankees. Royals held the third spot. Fourth, the Rays. And for the Tigers, fifth. You look at those low opponents' batting averages, those really are the pitching staffs with the best stuff. They're the ones that get the most outs and the most swings and misses and the most pop outs and the hitters being off balance. Quality pitching equals low opponents' batting average. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Great game so far. Five hits and six at bats. Big time player right now. Three RBIs, two great defensive plays. Major contributions right. in this one. And out on the mound, we've got Robinson Tejada. As the Royals bring in their reliever. Well, no one's going to argue about this decision. I mean, if you don't think you've got effective pitching, you've got to think about taking them out. It's the right move. Well, it's a hitting coach dream come right. true right here. Everybody's hitting the ball. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. It's tough for hitters to protect both sides of the plate. You can't protect the outside and the inside, especially when you're throwing your fastball down and away. And it's up against the wall. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. Oh, and he just continues to absolutely scald the ball. Six hits in this one. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And he's there to retire the song. So they're finally set down, but not before they have a big inning punctuated by two big home runs. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Pierre ready for the first pitch. That's it foul by Pierre. Danks gets set and delivers. Strike two. Pierre now has got to be careful, but a good punch hitter. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. And Pierre fights off another one. Quality at bat. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. 
ball. Doesn't offer at it. One and two. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location. And believe me, very okay. difficult to hit. Down on strikes there. Nice piece Number of pitching eight. work. This is the effective use of the fastball. You can move it around the zone and hit your spot. They go down and in right there. Looks like the hitter was thinking away. It's going to be Bloomquist now. That's a good pitch from Danks. It's in there. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the night. Here's a swing, a soft liner to the left side. And that one is through in the left. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0 2 offering to keep that down in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Here's the delivery. Liner towards the hole. And Conerco makes the catch. And that'll hold the runner at first. On Keel into the batter's box. And an RBI single his last time to the plate. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a foul off to the right side. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Rios will field. And the side's retired. Damon catches it as he heads in. And we see another good John Danks performance in that inning. He's in line for a win and a good lead to work with. And Beckham's in the box. He's looking for hit number five in the ball game. Well, he's been swinging the bat, picking up the RBI, and then obviously outstanding plays defensively. I mean, everywhere you look, he's all over the field. Takes one up and away for strike one. On the way. Should have let that one go by. Hits the dirt, but it's a strike on a swing. And it holds at 0 2. The pitch. And he fouls off another one. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0 2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. You're out. Strike three called on the fastball. One away. Well, they climbed the ladder with the fastball, and he just couldn't catch up to that high heater. One out, and Alex Rios at the plate. He's driven home three in this one. Well, with this advantage right now, he's been a major contributor offensively and driving in runs, and then obviously the home run production, getting a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark, putting some good swings on it. That one's drilled to short, and that's going to be a base hit for Rios. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Well, coming off that amazing four hit performance the last time out, getting his team a win, he's off to another great start already early in this one. One down, runner at first. First pitch on the way. There's a swing towards the hole. Bettencourt able to pull that one in. I mean the bat. Let's check out the teams leading the way in runs scored. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. Third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Orioles. And number five, the Indians rounded out. Well, you talk about a high octane offense. This team is number one in all of baseball in runs scored. And how do they do it? Any way you can imagine. Take the ball out of the ballpark. Yeah, they get that one done. Get on base, steal a base, and score on a single. Yeah, they'll do that too. You name it, they do it. That's why they cross home plate better than anyone in baseball. Slider's in there for a called strike. But Gary, they're going to have to watch the slider. I mean, that is his put away pitch right here. So you've got to be able to guard against the break on that pitch. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Ball! But Gary, I mean, the other reason this guy's slider's so good, other than the movement on it, is the fact that he can throw it where he wants. He starts it on the corner and breaks it off the plate. Here's the pitch. Change up swung on and missed. That will retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. Now we move on to the home half of the ninth inning. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gian. Great game this club has put together. Things have gone really well. Diaspo at the plate. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. First pitch. 
And that's in for a strike. Well, I think right now, offensively, you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean, you're down a ton, so you don't need big hits. You don't need home runs. You need base running. That looks like a single. And that will bring Mike Avilas to the plate. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. Oh, one count as that started off with a strike. That misses one and one. Check swing held back, but it's a strike anyway, one and two. And the one two pitch from Danks. It's fouled away. And he fouls another one off. Well, you know the pitcher wants to get this strikeout right here, but the last thing he wants to do when he's ahead in the count is make a mistake. And the more balls he keeps fouling off in tough situations, the more chance of a mistake coming. The pitcher has to keep his focus right here. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Number three. Well, uh, at least he's worried about the pitcher a little bit on that event. One way to look at it. Bettencourt at the plate. One out, runner on at first. Strike one! Danks gets set and delivers. Called strike on a fastball, and it's 0-2. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Oh! And that's another foul ball. Oh, a nice defensive approach right there. A pitch down in the strike zone below the knees, but he couldn't take that chance, and he just gets enough on it to foul it off. Swings, hits this one in the air down the right field line. And that should be a single. He's on his way to third. Kansas City gets a shot at it right now. Well, that pitch down the way is the toughest in the game to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Two men have been put away. A run comes home. Well, this is what a good offense does. It picks up runs with productive outs. Good piece of hitting. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Now the first pitch. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement, down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Head on the ground. This could be the end of this ball game. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. And we present our Pepsi Clutch Performance Award. Definitely a difference maker in this one, John Danks. Well, yeah, I agree. Complete games seem to be a dying art, but every now and again, someone tosses a gem like this one. What I like is that even though he wasn't perfect, his manager gave him the chance and showed enough confidence in him that he could get the job done and finish it off, and he did. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. Now well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.